We're going to jump right into the sticky MAC address lab here. And what I've done is taken this switch port port security MAC address all A's command that we had on interface 02. And I've removed that. And there is another great reason to know that one command, or actually two commands for your keyboard, just up arrow to repeat your previous commands and then do a control A to move to the front of the line. Then just type no. Because if you're a bad typist, that one's going to take you a long time to put in. So then I just did a quick verify, show port security, looked at the interface, that's up, and that's fine. So we'll start from scratch here then with that sticky MAC address. Now we're going to keep all the other defaults. So that means that when we enable this feature, we better know that the device that's supposed to be connected securely to that port is the one connected to the port now. Because when you enable sticky MAC address learning, what happens is that the very next MAC address that that port learns about, that's going to be the secure address. So if you configure it, say, for two addresses and you have sticky enabled, then the next two MAC addresses that the port learns about would be secure. So it's a, it's a good command in certain circumstances. You just got to be a little careful with it. So let's just jump right in here and take a look at that command. And again, you want to watch this on the exam, you know, or any practice exam. Great multiple choice questions. You could see that switch port port security MAC address command in the config, just as we did in the last video. But if you don't have switch port port security by itself, you don't have anything. We've seen that because the feature is disabled. So now we will add the sticky feature. And it's configured dynamic secure addresses as sticky. And that's it. That's all there is to it. We don't have to type anything in because we're going to hopefully dynamically learn it. Now let's send a ping across the wire here. And we see that they went through, so that should be fine, or is fine. So that means port security at least didn't shut the port down. But did it learn about the sticky MAC address? Let's take a look. First, we'll take a look at the interface. You can see everything there is fine, but we need to run our show port security commands. And here we've got one, uh, there's FASTO2, one secure MAC address, one current address, no security violations, and the security action is shut down. Uh, so it's looking good. But this is the one I really like to run, and here you go. Port security is enabled, the port status is secure and it is up, violation mode is shut down, there's one maximum MAC address, one total MAC address. Notice this time we have zero next to configured MAC addresses. Uh, a better way to put that would probably be static MAC addresses, but there's nothing wrong with having a zero here as long as you have sticky learning enabled. And there's the address that it learned from the last packets that came through, and that's it. So the port is secure, everything is just fine. One word here, you know, we've been talking a couple times about you can't just look at part of the output of a command, you have to look at the whole thing. Just be careful when you look at show port security because it's easy to look at this and say, oh man, the port's shut down. Well, the port is not shut down, that's the security action that's going to be taken if there is a violation. If you have zero violations, you can't possibly be shut down because there's been no reason to shut you down. The same here with show port security in that we're enabled, secure is up, but don't just look down the list real quick and say, oh man, the port's shut down. Again, that's the violation mode, not the actual status of the port. That's the important one right there. So that is sticky MAC addressing really in a nutshell. It's really all there is to it. Uh, again, if you configure max, uh, maximum MAC addresses to be something other than one and you've enabled it for sticky learning, then however many addresses you define will be the number of dynamic addresses that it will learn and say, okay, it's secure. If you set it to five, the next five devices that connect to that port are all going to be sticky, stickily learned, if you will, and they are going to be secure addresses. So you might not want to go that high. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and set a little something extra up here on the video and we'll have another quick lab before we move on to another topic. So I'll see you on the next vid.